Hello guys, it's John here for a quick A50 tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be adding a movie or a video file to a user interface widget. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I recently came up a bit stuck because I've been since 4.15 and I realised that they've changed the video importing system. So I thought I'd quickly cover this once I sort of figured it out. And cool, let's get going. So the first thing I'm going to do is... I've just created a new level, a blank level. Doesn't need to be anything in the background because this is just going to be my pressing start screen. So I'm going to go to user interface and create myself a blueprint widget. Call this press start um, UAG. That'll do. And if I double click that, we've now got this. But we're not going to worry about that for now. What you want going to do is create a movies folder inside here so click in content and add new folder and call it movies and once you found that right click it show in file explorer and this folder should come up this is going to way you want to copy and paste your new movie in so find your movie and paste that in And what you can do as well is import into here, find that in your browser. So do you know go to your file, content, movies, find the file. And then again, this is sort of where it differs. Before you used to be able to just import your movie and it's sort of just straight up play. Now we're getting this file media source. So to work with this, if we open this up, if you click on your little drop down button, there's going to be an option here that says pre cache. Let's do that because that mean should hopefully load faster. And on my computer, I need all the help I can get. We're also going to want to get a media, media player. So at this point, tick if yours has audio and video. Mine actually only has video for now. I forgot to put audio in there, but it'll do. And I'm going to call this press start media player. Cool. And let's hit enter on that. So once we're inside here, this is sort of our viewer. And if we find your video, your video should be down here. I want my video to loop forever. And I'm not getting into playlist, so I don't need to worry about that. And play and open, that should be quick by default. So if you double click this, your video should play in the screen. And there it is, that's my screen. Looking awesome, made that in After Effects, really happy with it. Yeah, no, I'm that good. But anyway, so now we've got that set up, what we want to do is go back into our hood, our widgets, and let's create an image, drag you in there, and the size is 1080, no, it's 1920, sorry about 1080. 1920, 1080, full HD, even though I actually only made my video. Seven twenty. But anyway, let me put that in position. Hmm. Stupid. I moved my anchor, didn't I? Cool. Alright, so inside here you're gonna see an option that says brush. Click in here, find the image and locate the file we just created, which in my case is press start media. And we can already sort of see that looking all good and beautiful. I'm gonna head across to my graph and we're going to get on my event construct. Oh, no I'm not, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to create a variable first and call this media player. And media player, inside here, you change your variable type and just again type in media player media player and set that up cool at this point you're going to want to compile it and scroll down find your default value and I've only got one media player in here so that one will do me and we're going to bring you out with a get and on the event construct I want to open my source but I'm going to turn off Context sensitive and say open source bring you over here like so. 
set you to be this. And we're almost done. Well, in fact, in reality, we are done there. But I need to test it by bringing up my widgets. I'm going to open my level blueprint. And let's go event play, create widget. Choose your widget. Mine's called press start UI. And we need to add that to the viewport and because that's on begin play in theory this should all work like a charm so now when I press play we should get that screen oh my god yes it worked actually it's a bit blurry around some of the lines but that's the video it's the same thing so there we go I have quickly set up my screen I've got that looking all good and there you go I hope you found it useful that's adding a quick video to your hood thanks for watching guys